Casey Umlin. I'm a program director here at the University of YMCA and it is my job to welcome you for the last time this fall to our Friday Forum series Beyond the Rhetoric Key Issues for the 2012 Elections, though maybe we'll see some of you on Tuesday when you come here to vote because the Y is a polling place. Um, We'd like to thank all of our series sponsors who have financially supported this program. American Association of University Women, Champaign-Urbana Jewish Federation, Channing Murray Foundation, Chapel of St. John the Divine Episcopal Church and Foundation, First Mennonite Church, LGBT Resource Center, McKinley Presbyterian Church and Foundation, and Wesley Church and Foundation. There are several more who have um, sponsored specific talks, but I won't make you sit through all of them. Sign language interpreters are available for any speaker in our series, so if you're coming next semester with someone who needs those services, just give us a couple days heads up. We will rebroadcast Friday Forum on WEF 90.1 Community Radio on Mondays, Urbana Public Television sometimes, whenever they feel like doing it. Um, and in some cases YouTube, and I can promise you this, now that the series is over, they will finally go up on YouTube. Um, so if you missed one and it looked interesting, I'll try to get them up before Tuesday so you can get all of your election knowledge before you vote, if you haven't already early voted. After the presentation, we'll begin a question and answer period using the remote microphone to field questions. Um, please wait to ask your question until you've been given the microphone. That way we can make sure we get you on the radio rebroadcast. If you need to leave at any time during the presentation, please feel free to discreetly slip out. If you are a student who is here for a class or for another reason that you need to be able to account for, we'll circulate a sign-in sheet, so make sure that you sign up on that. If you are any other attendee who would like to get these sorts of announcements or announcements about other Y events, please sign up on that sign up sheet as well um, and if you have a lunch ticket that hasn't been picked up yet can you please wave it in the air for us no okay great um, and with that it is my pleasure to welcome the executive director of the University of YMCA Mike Doyle to introduce today's speaker thank you Casey um, it's really a privilege for me to introduce today's speaker and I'm going to read a little bio uh, that we've been provided that tells us who she is but then I want to make a couple of comments before we get started. Claudia Lenhoff is the executive director and a community organizer with the Champaign County Healthcare Consumers in Champaign, Illinois. CCHCC is a grassroots citizen consumer health advocacy organization founded in 1977. Claudia has been on staff of the healthcare consumers as an organizer since 1997 and became the executive director in 1999. Claudia has extensive experience working to improve access to care for low-income and minority populations, both as uh, providing direct client services and through community organizing initiatives. In 2002, Claudia was selected as a recipient of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation Community Health Leaders Award for her work to expand access to health care in Champaign County. And that's an award that's given out, I think, to just two or three people a year, ten people. Still, pretty good out of a couple hundred million. Um, for the work that they do in the community, it's a very select group of people, and Claudia is certainly uh, deserving of that recognition. I first uh, got to know Claudia, I think, when she was a volunteer uh, with the healthcare consumers uh, with our campaign to have a public health, countywide public health department started here in Champaign County back in 1996 or 7, which was a successful campaign, something that those of us who had been in town since the 1970s had always been talked about to do that uh, and then the healthcare consumers with volunteers such as Claudia leading the way we were very successful in doing that. Um, but also Claudia has been, you know, I was involved in the healthcare consumers when it got started back in 1977 and have been intimately involved in it uh, throughout its history. So it's personally rewarding for me to see someone with such great leadership skills uh, leading the organization and carrying it on uh, and really establishing it as a, a premier grassroots consumer organization in the country. Claudia herself has been uh, done a fantastic job as an organizer leading local campaigns that really have sort of cut, have been on the cutting edge of uh, national health care reform at the local level. Um, the campaign of several years ago around medical debt 
and the responsibilities of nonprofit hospitals uh, and the community benefit uh, is really sort of broke ground here nationally. It was covered in the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post, uh, Consumer Reports, Democracy Now. It really received national attention and sort of set the, the, the stage for all kinds of things that are going on both here in our community, the change of Carl Foundation Hospital or Clinic from a for-profit to a non-for-profit facility, the outreach. Many years ago, there were campaigns in town to expand care to low-income people and no one knew about certain programs that were there. The other day I was driving down the street and there it was on the side of a bus having trouble with you paying for your health care. Contact Carl about that. So it's free. She's really redefined how our communities responded to it but also created a model that other communities and other states have begun to look at where hospitals are being challenged for their tax exempt status if they're not really providing the care that they, that they gives them the ability to earn that tax exempt status. So we're very honored to have her speaking here today. And not only has she sort of set this standard with local organizing, but she's really become a state and national uh, voice for consumers. And so she's often turned to, I think the governor has appointed her some to commissions to represent consumer points of view. She speaks around the country and often has ended up in Washington, D.C. to talk about what it means. So we're really very honored to have her here today to sort of share with us her perspective about what the future of universal health care is in our country. We have a critical election coming up. We've had some reforms these past two years that are really unprecedented and moving us in one direction, but maybe not, depending on what happens on Tuesday. So please help me welcome Claudia Lenhoff from the Healthcare Consumer. Excuse me while I switch to my reading glasses. I wouldn't have had to do this a couple years ago. Um, thank you, Mike, for that very kind introduction. Um, Mike Doyle has been my mentor, um, so anything that I do wrong or right, you can blame it on him. <laughs> and all the great work that he's talked about, obviously it's taken a community, um, tremendous staff at Healthcare Consumers and our incredible volunteers, and there are many people here in this room who I've worked with for years and years and years, even back in the day when I was a volunteer with Healthcare Consumers in 1996 and 1995 even. So thank you all for being here. And thank you to the University YMCA and the Friday Forum and Mike Doyle and Casey 